Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Get rid of the attitude of entitlement. And what do I mean? Well, you know, past couple of weeks I've been talking about being thankful, having gratitude. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people out here, they're not thankful for anything. They don't have any gratitude. The reason why, they feel entitled. You know what? They, they, they get a lot of money or something. Well, I was supposed to get this. Somebody compliment them. Well, of course. You know? They get, I don't know, any praise. They get that attractive mate that likes them. Well, of course, you know. Of course, that don't usually happen <laughs> with any of that stuff. And, you know, it's one thing when people get stuff, but then you get a lot of people that go through life and they, um, they expect to get things. You know, they expect to get that good job. They expect that people are going to treat them a certain way or defer to them. They expect that they're going to get that attractive mate. And, of course, it doesn't happen. And then that's, that's why a lot of people have some problems. That's why they don't appreciate anything. Because they feel entitled. They feel entitled to whatever they think they should get. Even when they get it, they don't appreciate it. You know? They don't appreciate it. They're like, of course. They come, I mean, they'll come off as conceited, arrogant, narcissistic. And I'm going to tell you what. The thing in life is only you're really not entitled to anything. Not a single thing. You're not entitled. Now, it would be great if you got those things, but you're not entitled to it. You know? One thing I've learned in life, there's nothing wrong with getting anything, anything, as long as you're willing to work for it. Even then, you're not entitled, but if you work for it and you get it, it's because you work for it. If people are treating you kindly, it's, it's really not because you're entitled to it, but it's because you're a kind person yourself. Because, yeah, it'd be nice if everybody treated each other nice and everything just automatically, but eh, we know in the real world that doesn't happen. But people do tend to treat you nicer if you're nice yourself. Notice I say the word tend because you got some people, they, they ain't going to treat you a certain way no matter what you do, but it makes it easier. Or if you want that, uh, if you want a lot of money, you want that great job, the person who works hard, to develop themselves, to get the job, and then once they get the job, work really hard, and they, they get rewarded for it monetarily, they worked for it. They weren't entitled to that raise. And indeed, on many jobs, you see people, they, they feel like they were entitled to get that raise, that promotion. But let's be real. We see these people, they don't do any work. You know? They don't do anything. And it's it like in just so many ways uh, in relationships, people say, well, I'm entitled to that hiring man or I'm entitled to that beautiful woman. Well, if you're willing to work for that, work on yourself and work for it, anything that you're willing to work for. Now, here's the thing. If you work for something, then you put yourself in a position to get it. In fact, it's not that it's handed to you, but you worked for it. You went out and got it. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody going through life need to work for the things they want. But you can't sit there being entitled. See, the one thing when people are entitled, they don't want to do any work. They just want to sit there and think somebody's supposed to hand it to them. And then when it don't happen, they get mad. They get evil. They, they screaming at the world instead of asking themselves, well, why did you have that feeling of entitlement anyway? And I'm going to tell you what, it's not so much the people. It's myriad factors why people will even have that attitude of entitlement. You know, it could be where they were born, how they grew up, the religion they practice, uh, you know, how they view their particular racial background. You know, it could be a bunch of things why people feel like they're entitled to something. 
And then when it doesn't happen, they they don't handle it well. You ever, you ever see people, their entitlement is so great, and then when they don't get it, they mad at the world. They more mad that they didn't uh, get the things that they were entitled for instead of just saying, well, why don't you just work for it, you know? And even when you work for it, because you get some people, they'll work. they actually work for something and think they're entitled to get the reward. Not necessarily. Entitlement doesn't work in anything. If you work for it, it's because you work for it. It's not automatic that you're going to get it anyway. But you still got to work for it. Because let me tell you what, in life, nothing, ultimately nothing's guaranteed. Tell me where it's guaranteed. Nothing. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing. Even though, even on a job where they say you're going to get paid, oh, yeah, they could say, okay, well, yeah, you guaranteed that payment until they decide to lay you off. So how's that, how's that a guarantee? You know, even if it's a business and they say, well, we don't fire, but, you know, we don't get, it don't make it, the business don't make any money. They can't pay you. And we, we shouldn't even get into it in relationships. We see how often people have entitlement issues in relationships and it just don't work out because nobody is obligated to treat you a certain way. We might have rules, we might have customs and everything to help with that, but eh, still people are going to treat you the way they want. So nothing, nothing is entitled. And you just can't get through life that way. That's why I say you got to appreciate what you have, what you get. You have to have be grateful for it. Now, does that mean you just stay, you know, stay on your laws? No, you can still work for some more. You know, if you if you making, I don't know, everybody's throwing six figures terms around lately. If you're making six figures, you can be grateful for it. You work for it. But then you say, you don't have to say I'm entitled to even more. You say, okay, let me go work for more. And that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, it's just like you can't that day. I'm going to tell you what, that entitlement thing, that attitude of entitlement, I've yet to see it actually work for somebody, at least long term. Maybe on a short term scale, maybe on an, uh, an illusionary scale, but I've yet to see it work long term for anybody. I've yet to see it. I mean, maybe we'll see it at some point. I don't know when, but yeah. So I'm going to tell you what, get rid of it, get rid of it. Work. Get the attitude that no matter what you got, no matter what you get, you worked for it because it's a way better feeling. Because entitlement, that's an illusion. Working for something, everything, I don't care what it is, that's real life. That's the real. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Keep rising, everyone. Peace and blessings.